Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a PHP BB forum and um, it's pretty simple to be honest. So what you need to first do is download PHP BB, it's free. If you go to Google and type into Google PHP BB, uh, click on the first link and there uh, you go to this website. If you click on the top right corner here where it says download and it will have the latest version available to download click on that and then under full package click on download php bb uh, the version number and um, zip so click on that once you've downloaded that extract the files uh, upload them to your web server or uh, copy and paste them or come paste them to your local server so once you've done that if you load it up here this is the um, the main index page as soon as you load it up this basically just tells you about PHP BB um, so first off you want to click on the install tab up here and um, this tells you what um, what you need to actually install and um, what you actually need for PHP BB to actually work um, so if I click proceed to next step um, this basically, this page is basically, uh, it's basically just testing, testing your server or the server you're, you're running this page on, um, to make sure it's compatible with PHP BB. Um, so as long as you've got yes on most of them, um, as long as you've got one available on supported databases, um, if you've got MySQL alone, that would work. Um, but MySQL with MySQL I extension is um, recommended. Um, make sure these bottom two parts, files and directories, and optional files and directories are made writable. Um, if they're not writable, then um, you'll need to change the permissions. Um, if you're not sure how to change permissions, um, leave a comment and I'll make another quick video. Um, on how to change permissions for files and folders um, so once that's all uh, done and ready click start install uh, basically this is now where you're selecting your your database um, so make sure you've selected uh, what um, type you want here recommendation again is MySQL with MySQL I extension um, just to make sure everything runs smoothly and that is also the um, default by most uh, databases um, the, your host name um, if you're running on a local server then it's usually 127.0.0.1 um, you could put local host but I'm not sure if um, local host will actually work you may need to use um, a specific IP address um, but I'm not quite sure I've never used local host before um, does it tell you here use localhost to connect yeah or maybe localhost would work then but um, I'm used to using IP addresses um, the database server port um, leave this leave this blank basically it tells you here um, leave it blank um, unless your hosting provider has actually specified um, a port they would like to use for databases um, your database name so what we're going to do is if you load up PHP my admin um, just create a new database here. We're just going to call it um, uh, PHPBB underscore tutorial and click create. Uh, basically, that's all you have to do. Um, if I now come back to um, database settings, um, database name as we just called it PHPBB underscore tutorial the username of the database if you're using a local server it is usually root and um, there is usually no password um, prefix for tables and database leave this as PHP B, PHP BB unless you um, want to change it if you really want to change it to something else make sure you put an underscore um, at the end uh, so proceed to the next step uh, successful connection to the database uh, setting up your administrate, administrator uh, usernames and stuff you can actually use 
admin for the username, password, I'm just going to put password, um, and the, uh, I'm just going to create test at test.com. doesn't have to be a real email address, or, um, but it is recommended for if you use, if you're actually going to use this, then um, make sure you set up strong passwords, um, a genuine uh, email address. So proceed to next step. Uh, test passed. Uh, uh, the uh, everything's been written. If we go to look uh, the database and just refresh this page, as you can see, um, go to here. Uh, no tables found. I might do it on this bit then. Um, these are just your default uh, settings. You uh, most likely just leave these blank unless uh, your um, hosting provider has specified um, that they've actually changed anything. Um, if you're actually using this, actually going to use it on the internet for an actual forum, then enable. Uh, if you're using um, SSL security then and make sure that is enabled to make sure everything works uh, perfect and um, basically everything is just set up um, to what it should be basically so I'll just click proceed to next step and I think this is where it's now writing all the uh, the tables and files and um, everything into the database so um, when I tested this earlier it did take a few seconds so if I just pause the video alright so the database tables have been created so if I go back to the database and actually refresh this page you can actually see that all the uh, the tables have uh, been inputted um, as you can see here php bb uh, underscore config if I browse this it's actually got um, a load of fields in here um, yeah so basically uh, it's copied everything fine as you can see here so if I proceed to the next step okay uh, this is uh, the final message that will be displayed uh, basically it's just telling you that the uh, it's been installed uh, successfully and you can now click login here to actually start using um, uh, the, the PHP BB so if um, what you need to do first is to delete that initial um, uh, file so if I go to board index here I can see it will tell me here please remove please delete move or rename the install directory before you use this board um, if it, uh, yeah so basically um, if you go to If you go to your f your files where you were, as you can see here, uh, it's been given a warning. So um, if we just go back to um, the files here, um, the install directory here, if we just um, just rename it, I'm just going to put on score backup, uh, click update on all them. Um, so now if I um, just refresh this page. As you can see, one message has gone away. Um, it's giving you a little tip here. Your config.php is currently world writable. We strongly encourage you to change the permissions. Um, yeah, so um, you can change the permissions of that, which yeah is is strongly recommended because then anyone can just uh, change your configuration which you don't want to do but I'm not going to leave that with you and if I'm just going to go to board index uh, this there's, there's the uh, forum <laughs> the forum um, all successfully completed uh, welcome to PHP welcome to PHP BB3 um, so basically all you have to do then is just um, adding new topics um, within that forum or you can um, if you go to yeah, the administrator can actually then go to the forums up here and um, either delete this rename it 
uh, create a new forum so you've got another forum if I just click new here um, just leave all that as default for now uh, set permissions um, you have to set permissions doesn't really matter I'm just gonna put um, um, add group administrators can only view this um, add permissions apply permissions um, so then if I go back to the board index um, and then it's not come up um, just done it quick but um, read it through and it basically tells you everything what needs to be done um, it's real easy have a play about and um, I'll see you in the next video